This presentation of The Beer Next Door is brought to you by Town Square Media and Keeler in the Morning on WIBX 950 AM. Difficult going out for a beer with you because you're probably like criticizing. No, when I'm outside, I, you know. You don't care, you're off. That's the the best time to taste for me because I'm the most relaxed. Yeah, the best time to taste is when you really want a beer. Like in a brewery, you want to taste either just before lunch or late in the day for dinner because when you're hungry is when your senses are at their height. You know, the brewery went through some really good times when I was growing up, and then as I got older, you know, my 20s, the brewery was not doing well at all, and that was actually, I was not going to have the opportunity to be able to work at the brewery. Um, in a way, fortunately, the brewery got, the business got so bad that, you know, they kind of needed us, and so we got to come back, and today, the brewery is thriving, and so there is opportunities for other family members. There's like 750 breweries in this hall, 3,800 beers, and it's a giant collaboration of putting on a show for craft beer drinkers. It's like the ultimate original social network. That's what beer is. Welcome to The Beer Next Door. I'm Christine Bellino. Well, craft beer is everywhere, from your local pub, supermarket, to even your convenience store now. Breweries are always coming up with new and exciting varieties. Inside the main brewery, you'll find the Pilot Brewery, where a lot of those styles are developed. Scott Grenier is the Saranac Pilot Brewmaster, who spends his days developing some of the new flavors you find on the store shelves. Krista Calcari had a chance to sit down with Scott and talk about what it's like to cultivate tastes and develop new brews. You know, the term Pilot Brewery has been kind of tossed around a lot, so what exactly is it? Um, it's basically a space within the brewery where we're able to try out new ingredients, uh, come up with new flavors, uh, design new products. Um, it basically allows us to make beer on a smaller scale than what we normally do. So, you know, it's a lot easier uh, to come up with new recipes that way when you're not risking ruining 15,000 gallons of beer or whatever it is. Um, so how many new beers have you worked on since you started? You started, you said, two years yeah, ago? Yeah, two years ago. Um, Probably around 30 new beers. Oh wow! So somewhere around there. Um, not all of them, you know, get to fruition, but you know, it's sort of a home brewer's dream to be able to brew beer professionally. And you were a home brewer before you actually started working. Yeah. So that. I started home brewing in 2006, and basically have continued brewing since then. Uh, even to to this day, I still uh, home brew on the weekends. You know, oh, whenever wow. I get a chance. So uh, that shows so. passion. You're bringing it at <laughs> you from your you know workplace all the way to your home. Yeah. Sometimes people think I'm crazy. It's like I just, you know, spend all week around beer brewing, and then on the weekends, you know, my free time, I brew more. So, oh wow, um, that's great. Yeah, it's a great, great hobby, and I love doing it. And have you ever been able to take something that maybe you kind of thought of at home and kind of apply it at work? Yeah, actually, all the time. It's uh, sort of fun. Sometimes I'll start a beer as a home brew, and that sort of morphs into a production brew. You know, as it goes through the different stages of testing and all that. Um, so we have uh, one beer we did with like plastic called Big Slide. That was sort of my standard uh, homebrew IPA recipe that, you know, now you can go buy at the grocery store. So cool. that's sort of cool. That, that's kind of cool <laughs> to see the transition from, you know, the first taste test to all the way up to yeah. seeing it in the supermarket. Yeah. Visit Villa Verona Vineyard and sample delicious local wines, wine slushies, and New York State craft beers in our tasting room. Take a tour and bring home your favorite bottle of Villa Verona wine, along with cheese, clothing, jewelry, hand-painted glasses, salsas, jams, and more. Hi, this is Mary Jo Beach, and I would like to invite you to Villa Verona Vineyard. Visit our website or our Facebook to find out about upcoming events and entertainment. Great wines and good times. Villa Verona Vineyard, Route 365, Verona. We started building tiny houses at least 20 years ago. We're a family business. Although the houses are tiny, the stories are big. 